My dear, this is Jal Kumar Sen and today we are going to derive an equation that conduction of, uh, I mean heat transfer is going on for Cartesian coordinates and how to derive the equation if you will get this question in the university examination. So, are you ready to go for it? So, we are having a Cartesian coordinates right now and in this coordinate we are considering the area of the coordinate as A and Qx is entering here and outgoing heat is Qx plus dx, right? Now, what is happening here? We are saying that uh, we wanted to find out it's you know how much heat transfer is going on in this coordinate system the ultimate aim is that only right so uh, first of all what we are doing consider a differential element of the slab of length dx as shown we have shown in the figure the length is dx right now we are saying qx is equal to heat conducted into the element along x, direc x direction we are saying heat conducted into the element along x direction then minus k a we know that q x is equal to minus k a dt by dx this is the first equation we generally studied that is known as Fourier law of uh, equation for heat transfer right now what we are saying qx plus dx what is it this is heat conducted heat conducted out of the element along x direction is equal to qx curly by curly x qx dx yeah now you can see it right so we got two equations here one is for qx another one is qx plus dx both the equation is very useful and very important for Cartesian coordinates okay now what we have to do we have to find out one another equation I have to show you that's why you can understand more about it that is heat generated in the element so what is that heat generated in the element so the equation will be q a dx this is heat generated in the element now we have to write another equation for i mean through that equation we easily find out the heat transfer rate okay through these cartesian coordinates so the name of that equation is energy balance equation so we will write an equation energy balance equation along x direction so this equation is known as energy balance equation along x direction right so what would be that i mean how we can write that equation that is also interesting that is one of the interesting part i must say that so what is that heat heat conducted heat conducted into the element heat conducted into the element plus heat generated in the in the element heat conducted into the element is equal to I must say is equal to heat conducted out of the element heat conducted out of the element plus rate of change of internal energy rate of change of internal energy of element with respect to time rate of change of internal energy internal energy of the element with respect to time okay so these things we are going to write in mathematical form that's why you can understand it much better way okay let me use another color pen that's why it will be quite easier for you to understand okay so let's go for it so what would be that qx qx plus q Jensen. okay heat generation 
इज इक्वल टू क्यू एक्स प्लस डी एक्स प्लस करली बाई करली टॉ इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ एलिमेंट ओके सो इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ एलिमेंट नाउ वट नेक्स्ट क्यू एक्स क्यू जेनरेशन क्यू एक्स प्लस कली वाई कली एक्स क्यू एक्स डी एक्स कली वाई कली टॉ एम सी पी टी वेर वट इज एम एम इज मास ऑफ द एलिमेंट एंड यू नो डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास अपन वॉल्यूम देर फोर मास इज इक्वल टू डेंसिटी इन टू ही सिंपल ओके नाउ आफ्टर राइटिंग दिस वट वी कैन राइट हेयर दैट क्यू एक्स एंड क्यू एक्स इज कैंसिलिंग आउट सो क्यू जनरेशन इज इक्वल टू ए क्यू एक्स क्यू डैस डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू करली वाई करली एक्स माइनस के ए डी टी वाई डी एक्स इन टू डी एक्स प्लस करली वाई करली टो रो ए डी एक्स सी डी टी इन टू सी पी सो वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर राइटिंग ए डी एक्स इज वॉल्यूम दिस वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू ए डी एक्स ओके नाउ now what next what next that is most important what we are going to do we are going to send all these i mean we just cancel out this adx adx and adx so we can cancel out right now what will be remaining q generation curly by curly x minus k dt by dtx plus curly up by curly to rho cpt right after uh, you know after calculation we can get this also i mean we just sending this one this side so curly by curly x k dt by dx plus q generation curly by curly to cp t okay that's it now we have to differentiate this so k d square i mean curly square t curly square q generation curly by curly to rho cp and this must say okay we can say this cpt okay now what we got here this is only for one axis x axis or x direction we must say that but if we wanted to find out or we wanted to get energy balance equation for all the axis for all the axis then what we should do all the axis means i'm talking about as i have already shared with you that we are going to find out energy balance i mean we are going to find out the equation energy balance equation for x axis y axis and z axis now we are having we got already find out the energy balance equation for x direction now we have to find out y axis as well as z axis once we will come to know the energy balance equation for x axis we can easily write that energy balance equation for y axis as well as for z axis so we don't need to find out separately uh, to uh, for for writing the energy balance equation right so let's go for it how to write i mean how to do that and uh, that's why you will not face any kind of problem in it so what we can do we just need to write the axis accordingly so first of all k curly square t curly x square plus k curly square t curly y square plus k curly square t curly z square plus heat generation is equal to so not generation is sleep we are denoting denoting this in the way that so you can understand it cp curly t upon curly tau so stop right now what we exactly doing we are sending this thermal conductivity to this side and we are dividing here i mean just taking common from it and we are dividing here let me share with you curly square t curly x square plus curly square t curly y square plus curly square t plus curly z square q dot its k is equal to rho cp by k curly t by curly tau so this is the equation this is the equation for cartesian coordinates 
so most of the time we have been asked for all the axis and maybe sometime we have been asked for only x direction so this is how you can derive the equation for cartesian coordinates in case of con conduction only so most of the time you know there are three types of coordinate system which exactly we, we find out cartesian is spherical as well as uh, this uh, cylindrical so this one is cartesian in my next lectures i will definitely try to cover all other types of coordinate system that's why i will not go you will not go to watch any other videos you will get each and everything from here only okay so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye